um, this just broke i think over the next the last couple of hours this is a story concerning a young gentleman in america who unfortunately passed away uh, via the hands of police officers in another um, case of you know police officers shooting and killing an um, unarmed black person and um yeah whatever way you look at the story is bleak in it whichever way you look at it is bleak so again thoughts and feelings go out to uh duante wright's family and stuff during this hard time so let's continue with this this is from bbc it says duante wright shooting by police quote unquote accidental it says the fatal shooting of a black man by a police officer in the u.s a city of brooklyn center was an accident local police chief said duante wright 20 was shot after the police officer meant to taser but mistakenly drew her gun instead chief tim gannon told reporters mr wright death was sparked angry protests and overnight curfew tensions in nearby by Minneapolis so as a high as a trial of an ex-officer oh Jesus this is next next door in it um killing of um, George Floyd continues in a courtroom of just 10 miles from the latest unrest in Minnesota proceedings resumed on Monday with Derek Chauvin's lawyer set to begin his defense Dante Wright was pulled over on Sunday over a traffic violation but there was a struggle when he tried to get back into the car at a news conference on Monday morning Chief Gannon played a short video from the body camera worn by a police or woman which shows Mr. Wright trying to get back into his car as officers attempted to handcuff him on the side of the road an officer can be heard ta hearing saying taser 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 normal police procedure before firing one of the stun guns mr wright is seen in his um is seen to get into his car and drive away while the officer says i just shot him and it's a picture of obviously duante right there so sad in it it continued with uh with their son what is that duante wright's mother katie said her son called her as he was being pulled over fatally wounded mr wright crashed a few blocks away it is my belief that the officer meant to deploy the taser but shot him with a single bullet chief gannon said adding there's nothing i can say to lessen the pain the officer has been placed on administrative leave which means that they're on they're they on leave with basically pay which is mad it continues at the same news conference brooklyn center mayor mike elliott said he would do everything in his power to ensure justice was done to undo right our hearts and uh, our aching right now and we're in pain right now we recognize that this could have been happening at the worst of time this is happening at a time that all our community all of them America indeed all the world is watching and then of course protests happened during the time people took advantage of this unrest to go and loot trainer stores and all that stupid malarkey which you know isn't correct but the f the the interesting thing about this is just the lack of kind of responsibility on either on you know on each side right so on one case you've got this story i'm not going to play the video because it's obviously distressing to watch and you don't have to keep getting reminded of this sort of horror porn but essentially the kid gets pulled over for whatever he gets pulled over. Traffic violation, uh, air freshener, whatever, right? He gets pulled over and then once he gets pulled over, the police run his, you know, details through the system and find that he has warrants out for his arrest, right? For whatever, felonies, whatever, whatever. He's got some, he, he's he's uh, wanted by the police in some way, shape or form. So I'm guessing he's aware of that, which is why he panics and gets nervous. And when he's getting handcuffed, he tries to jump back into his car to speed away because for whatever, you know, whatever he's... um on warrant for or whatever you know he's kind of scared about being arrested for he's not worth him getting arrested at that moment so he flees the scene so the first error in this story is the kid trying to run away right you shouldn't run away and i never really understood why this happens in america so often especially when you know the consequences are so severe it's basically life or death right if you get involved in an altercation with a police officer they have basically got your life in their hands it's always unfair unless you're you know in a state that you've got an open carry whatever laws or you might have a gun yourself you're basically in an in a disadvantaged situation because regardless of the person is a man or a woman they've got a firearm on their way so they can deploy at any given time if they feel like their life is in threat too right if, if, if a police officer feels like their life is in danger they don't they don't have the option to subdue you they just get to kind of like you know put you down for good which means you know uh shooting you what minimum of three bullets center mass whatever nonsense it is that they use in police academies and stuff i don't really know too tough so he made the fatal error of trying to run cool he tried to run he should have done that that's obviously something that led to the entire situation don't do that in your call but also there has to be some questions being raised around police officers in america where they're unable to subdue or uh kind of you know place in a secure position in terms of holding before they get the handcuffs on one guy when there's three cops it just doesn't make any sense why can't three officers adequately subdue one gentleman 
it just seems very very strange especially when you consider the kid himself looks fairly you know it looks like a smaller dude it doesn't look like he does he's not like built like george floyd for instance why were they unable to subdue him right so obviously inadequate uh police training in some regard and then of course the fatal part of it is that allegedly according to what we've read so far the police officer intended to pull out the, the taser but incorrectly pulled out a handgun which then ended up of course causing a fatal blow or the fatal shot they end up killing the kid and i'm and i'm just scratching my head thinking if you're a police officer and you can't handle a stressful situation such as a roadside arrest for whatever reason right black guy big guy small guy doesn't matter but you're in such a level of distress that you panic and you pull for the wrong weapon from your sidearm wherever it may be right doesn't that maybe lend to the idea that you're probably not fit to be a police officer so then that leads me to the second question it's like why didn't this person just hand in their why didn't this person just turn in their badge why would you wait to be placed on administrative leave? Why wouldn't you just offer to resign on the spot, knowing that your lack of being able to handle pressure and think clearly in a stressful situation basically led to somebody losing their life that they shouldn't have lost their life? Because fair enough, if this was a thing of like he got back in the car, reached for his glove box. Don't get me wrong. Him, him getting back in the car in the first place was where this complete this whole thing went wrong. But the fact that they couldn't, adequately subdue him outside the car and put cuffs on him in the first place i don't know why they were struggling but somehow they struggled to get the cuffs on him in the first place whether or not they put him in the right place they opened the door the door still open when he was standing out there i don't know loads of things went wrong in that whole entire um, exchange but a police officer not being able to handle a stressful situation for me would be grounds enough to just either walk or get fired on the spot why this is even getting an invest why this is even going as far as this person be placed on administrative leave is just beyond me which is why i'm saying there's a lack of responsibility or a lack of culpability on both sides there's not really a conversation around you know black people in america for the most part just trying their best and giving themselves the best possible chance of staying alive in an interaction with a police officer by doing everything in their power not to um not to sort of provoke a situation you already see what happened with that um you know veteran recently right uh i think it was just the other day where you got pepper sprayed you know without real reason he was abiding by all the rules he had his hands up in the air he was abiding by all the cues doing everything right and he still ended up getting pepper sprayed and then of course you've got that famous or kind of you know horrendous incident where that police officer basically unloaded like many many rounds in a guy in a hotel room hotel um lobby hallway right Do you remember that one way the guy was kind of crawling on the floor and he kept shouting instructions to him and confusing the guy and he panicked and in this way of panicking the police officer panicked to and shot the guy many many times and he kind of led there bleeding on the floor as his partner was in the room next door just horrendous stuff right so it obviously proves that there's dev definitely an issue definitely a problem in america with police officers being able to handle stressful situations if that's the case as civilians you've just got to be able to kind of give yourself the best possible chance of staying alive and also reduce the level of stress that these specifics are going for going through by just ensuring that you're not doing anything untoward and even then it's still not guaranteed you can still put your life in danger but it's just that is one thing lack of culpability on that side of duante just not running away and then of course the lack of culpability from the police side of things where I don't understand why this is maybe again it's an employment thing and it's because they got a union but it just seems insane that the police officer herself wouldn't just hand in her badge and just say hey i messed up i'm obviously not cut out for this job my sincere apologies to the family because at the end of the day the unfortunate part of being a police officer i would imagine is that if you do make a mistake the consequences are really dire right you can't really get away from it right if you incorrectly arrest somebody that can mess up their entire career i don't know there's loads of things that could go wrong really badly for the civilian or for the person that's getting arrested um through error right through whether it's a hit or someone you push the, a guy and he hits his head and he's paralyzed from the neck down or you incorrectly pull out your guns and your taser the consequences are always great for a piece of some but in if you can avoid making errors 
then you try to do so in it and this is one of those occasions where it's a pretty easy way to just avoid the error happening there's three couple officers there one person was actually on the guy himself right touching and kind of making sure the kid was actually subdued in some way shape or restrained and the other two were obviously trying to be of some sort of assistance this shouldn't have occurred this would have made more sense if the woman was there by her own on the by herself right um you know a smaller woman coming whatever whatever however big the guy is it's always going to be a mismatch it would make more sense if she panicked in that respect but having two fellow officers with you and then you still do the wrong thing in that circumstance is just that's just gross negligence to the highest order and i just don't know why she just handed her, her badge this whole like under investigation thing is just absolutely insane like you can't surely go back on the police force and just return to just living life as per normal you cannot do that it just has to be grounds for dismissal on the spot but again america's a strange place isn't it again i, I don't know much about the you know uh the laws around there and all the rules and whatnot malarkey but just reading that story is just like wow man like and then again for the kid too like what is like unless he was like i don't know on the run for some you know running some bloody you know class a narcotics flipping drug ring or something is there really any situation in america in the states where you can legitimately get stopped by a police officer for a roadside check and then run and get away does that ever even happen especially being a black man in america can you actually get away from the cops by just you know putting your foot on the pedal and driving off <sighs> you're probably not legal they're probably not legally allowed to shoot you as you're driving i understand but there's so many instances of just terrible police officers doing a really bad job that i just wouldn't want to be i wouldn't want to put myself at that kind of risk and then of course the other side of it that makes that's even more crazy because i imagine because even in this picture it shows it i imagine the, from what i remember most police officers in america when they have tasers um the taser is actually a bright color like a yellow or red sometimes and then of course your handgun's your handgun color so it's like how could that even be mistaken that's the thing as well that's even more perplexing about the entire thing fair enough you you know i don't know if they're on the same side they're, they're meant to be on the, on on either side right you're meant to keep i guess whatever you you shoot with easily with i guess you put your gun there and your taser on the other side so i don't really know man i really don't know it's just so sad to see somebody lose their life in such a nonsensical way so yeah again thoughts and feelings go out with duante rice family but yeah we have to do better as a people man we can't just be allowing ourselves our lives to just get snuffed in an instance over just some nonsense jeremy just try your best to abide by whatever the police are saying on the roadside even if it's something stupid whatever it may be because in these circumstances it seems like you know the consequences are far grave for you than it is for the police officer it's a terrible terrible situation man. It really really is especially again in the midst of the whole george floyd thing going on it's just like god damn it man can't catch a break in it cannot catch a break if you live in the states anyway